In this video, we're going to continue our examination of finding the composition of functions. We're going to focus on how to find the composition when given two equations. So for this example set, I'm given f of x as 2x squared plus 3 and g of x as x plus 7. First thing I'm asked to do is to find f of g of x. What this means is that you take your g of x which we know as x plus 7. You take that g of x and you plug it in to the function f. So really I'm doing f of x plus 7. Now that means is wherever I see my variable x in f, instead of x, I'm going to put x plus 7. So f of x is 2x squared plus 3, but instead of x squared, I'm going to do x plus 7 squared plus 3. 2x plus 7 squared plus 3 is your twice your variable squared plus 3. Now we're going to have to square x plus 7. Remember, x plus 7 squared means x plus 7 times x plus 7, which gives you x squared plus 7x plus 7x plus 49. And so I have, when I combine like terms, x squared plus 14x plus 49. And that's just for squaring x plus 7. I still need to distribute the 2 from above, and I need to add the 3. So I get 2x squared plus 28x plus 98 and 3, which is going to give me a final answer of 2x squared plus 28x. And when I add my 98 and 3, I am going to get 101. 101. And so that is my final answer, 2x squared plus 28x plus 101. So if I'm taking f of g of x, like in this example, that means you take your g function and plug it in for the variable in f. And the next example, I have g of f of x. And so what this one means is you take your f of x function, which my f of x is 2x squared plus 3. And so I'm going to take that f of x function, that 2x squared plus 3, and I'm going to take it and use that as my variable in g of x. So g of x says x plus 7, but instead of x, I'm going to use the 2x squared plus 3. So I have 2x squared plus 3. That's your x, and then you're going to add 7. We combine like terms here, we get 2x squared plus 10. And so that is our final answer. That is f of x plugged into g of x, which is g of f of x. So I like to make a note of what I'm plugging in, which function. I'm plugging in x plus 7 into f. And then I re wherever I see my variable, I put a set of parentheses and plug in what I'm given. You know, I'm plugging 2x squared plus 3 into g. So wherever I see a variable in g, I put a parentheses and plug this in. So let's do a few more examples when we're given two equations. So we changed up the equations. Here, f of x is 2x minus 5, and g of x is 4x. So I'm asked first to find f of g of x. Well, g of x is 4x, so I'm finding f of 4x. So wherever I see an x in f, wherever I see my variable in f, I'm going to replace it with 4x. So 2x minus 5 becomes twice, parentheses, 4x minus 5. Distribute, 2 times 4x is 8x, 8x minus 5 cannot be simplified, so that's your answer. g of f of x. So wherever I see my x inside g, I'm going to replace it with my f of x. So my f of x is 2x minus 5. 
So I'm really taking g of 2x minus 5. So instead of writing down 4x, wherever I see my variable, I put a parenthesis and plug in 2x minus 5. So distribute here, and you get 8x minus 20. And so this is composition of functions when given two equations. Now you notice I've been writing, I got two more examples, but I want to stop here and explain. I've been writing this step down each time. And the reason why is because we have done problems written in this form before. You know, they were called, you know, function notation, simplifying with function notation, evaluating with function notation. And so by writing them down like this, it's familiar to a concept that we're already used to. You know, write down your equation, 2x minus 5, but instead of doing an x, put a parenthesis and replace it with what you're given, which was g of x. Same thing for this one. So let's do one more set. Again, we changed up the equations. This time, f of x is x plus 5, g of x is x squared minus 2. If you look here, though, I'm not asking you to find, you know, f of g of x. I'm asking you to find f of g of 3. And so what this means is to plug g of 3 in for x. In f. So the first thing I do is I find g of 3. And so you can look at this symbolically. You want to plug g of 3 in for x for f. So symbolically, it means wherever you see an x, you're doing g of 3. And so I'm going to write this down. You don't have to understand this. That's why I'm doing a different color. Is, you know, f of x is x plus 5. So really, I'm doing g of 3 plus 5. If you don't understand that, that's fine. Here's what you do. You work on the inside out. So the first thing you want to do is find g of 3. So plug 3 in for x in the equation. So x squared becomes 3 squared. So you have 3 squared minus 2, which 9 minus 2 is 7. So I first find g of 3. And then what I'm going to do is take that value that's 7, and I'm going to plug it in to f, because that's working inside out. I found g of 3. g of 3 is 7. So I'm going to find now what is f of 7. Well, that is 7 plus 5, which is 12. So you work inside out out. If you don't understand this notation, then don't use it. I want to explain that it's connected to what we've already done. And so if we look at this next example, and I'll just go right to the inside out. The inside says f of negative 2. And so we're going to find f of negative 2 first. Work inside out, just like order of operations. And so negative 2 plus 5, because f of x says x plus 5, so negative 2 plus 5 is 3. And so now what I want to do is, you know, this f of negative 2 is really the number 3. And so I'm taking g of 3. And so take g of 3, which is 3 squared minus 2, which is 9 minus 2, which is 7. So these last two examples, instead of doing function with like g of x, I'm actually giving you a value. And so when I'm giving you a value for x, you do the value, do g of 3, get that number, and then plug that in for f. You work inside out for these. So this is composition of functions when you're given two equations. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next video.